Now, one of the biggest mysteries I'll forever be wondering about my entire life is what the hell exactly did Nav record his verse on Yosemite with? Did he record it with an Xbox microphone or did he record it with a toaster? I don't know, you tell me. The flame on the island, yeah, couch gonna hop down a lear jet. Got potters every color, and I got CCs you ain't seen yet. Said I kicked the cup and now I'm asking where the codeine at. What I'm wondering is how did this even get approved by Travis Scott himself? Are you telling me that Travis Scott was listening to the final product, which is Astroworld, heard Nav's verse and thought, you know what, I don't hear any issues with this verse, so let's just release it. Nah, but seriously, I'm pretty sure you've been seeing a lot of memes about this entire situation. About a week ago, Travis Scott, of course, released his highly anticipated Astroworld album. A lot of people loved it and a lot of people enjoyed the album, but regardless, Nav himself was in the headlines for his appearance on Astroworld, pretty much why everyone was talking about Nav is because the song Yosemite featuring Gunna and Travis Scott had a very weird feature from Nav. And as you could hear in the snippet that I just played you, Nav's verse was barely audible. I mean, when I was listening to Astral World for the first time, I honestly thought that my headphones were broken. And I was thinking that's not even possible because I bought these headphones about two months ago. How could they break? I haven't dropped them on the floor. I haven't stepped on them. What exactly is going on here? And then I went on Twitter and I saw the memes. And then I realized that Nav's verse was not a joke and Travis really messed up by letting Astroworld get released without making sure the verse was audible to begin with. And here we are today and his verse has officially been fixed which means no more memes. So I would play you the final version of the song but I couldn't find a high quality version of the file so I'm not even gonna bother. But if you have Spotify or Apple Music then you don't have to worry because they've actually updated the song on both of those platforms. But can we just talk about how this was not actually a mistake? I mean the the thing is, when it comes to albums being released, especially from top tier artists like Travis Scott, these projects go through so many people and so many people listen to them. And obviously when I say that, I'm talking about the people in Travis Scott's circle, family, friends, and of course the people he works with, not the rest of the world. But there's people who listen to these albums and say, yeah, that sounds good, or no, this doesn't sound good, and perhaps you should change this or change that. And obviously Travis works with professional engineers, and what the hell were they thinking? Are you telling me that a professional engineer engineer listened to this Navers and thought that it sounds completely okay. I mean, I, I don't know if I can believe that. By the way, I want to salute Nav for seeing a little bit of humor in this entire thing. If you haven't seen it already, he posted this meme right here on his Instagram when everyone on social media was making fun of him for his verse. And regarding the updated and final version of the song, does it sound better now? Yes, because now you can actually hear what he's saying. And by the way, his verse wasn't really that bad in my opinion. To me, it was just way too short for my taste. Now, what do you personally think about this entire situation with Nav's verse on Astroworld finally being fixed? Are you surprised that it was actually a real mistake because I definitely am? I honestly thought that Travis was trying to troll everybody but apparently that wasn't the case. But what do you think about this entire situation? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.